Hello everybody and welcome back to part number two of the Let's Build the Real Great RX-70-2 with 135th scale Zaku 2 Char Asphalt Head. Special 35th Anniversary Edition. So, since the last time, I've actually gone ahead and put on the stickers on the head. And on the plane itself. Or the core fighter, I should say. So now with those two done, I will bring in. Oh, oh no! 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 The main attraction here. Which is the head. Let me bring it up just a little bit. Like that there. So I had to glue this. These two on. I did have a piece here. But it kind of. Was just a little bit too finicky to stay on. So today what we're going to do is put on all the outer armor on this guy. As he's kind of looking a little bit strange without actually having any color to him. Now I know what the instruction manual says here for this part. It says to put on the back piece first. No, it says to put on the top piece first. No, the side piece is first. Okay, we can do that first. Let's put on the side pieces. And it came with water slide decals. Very, very nice. I know I have done this before. Oh, oh, that was close. in? Yes, that is in.
grab the second side armor piece here. And be very careful. There we go. Then it actually says that we can let me just find it here. We should be able to put this piece on as well. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty cool. Okay, so if you're going by the instructions at this point, it actually has you put on the top of the head. I'll, I'll try it. First off, we kind of got to put this together. There we go. Now this, in theory, yes it does. So that's right into the front part there. How do you move there? Alright, so now it says to put on the top piece. And the top piece can be the most frustrating thing. I actually test fitted it. So then when it came to this part, I would know exactly what to do. But as it turns out, it is actually really, really stubborn at times. Like right now, it's starting to be a little bit stubborn. Come on out. Thank you. No. Yes. Okay, so this has to go on the top. With these pegs here, I have to go into holes on the top. Up here. You can see them there. 
this can be really frustrating but if you don't get it this way don't worry you can put on the back piece that helps you line it up a little bit easier or maybe this side pieces will help me here oh I feel like it's close oh it is so there We have a char head. We have a zaku head. Almost. Alright, now I'm bringing my instructions over here because... to glue a few pieces uh, glue a little bit but let me just take this wonderful really big huge back piece and stick it on as well there we go now we're just working with the details Now I'm just going to tip this weight up here just so that I can see it a little bit better. So then I can get a good idea. Of what needs to. It would be really helpful if I could actually get a hold of it. Okay. This I'm going to glue the heck out of it. I'm actually going to glue it off camera here because I really need to be sure that I got this all correct. But you guys have seen how I glue, do glue before. I always test fit. Then I do one side and then glue it in. So let me do that off, off to the side here. Just because I do not want to mess this part up. As this part can... This is... This is basically the joining between the top and the bottom parts here and I really want to make sure that I get it correct Sticker bottom dinner top, yes. Uh, 
Okay, let's take this thing and let's do this. With glue, you gotta work quickly. But also, sometimes you don't wanna work too quickly. Because if you let glue sit on a piece, it actually becomes more stickier. Please, no, 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 no. Get in my hand, you stupid. I just tried to glue it into the wrong section. But that'll be fine. Well, that's not right. What the heck is going on here? Keep it like that. That was just me accidentally popping out one side. Right now, I'm just putting glue in the cracks. Okay, 
and I'm putting pressure on the sides here. Well, glue, stay. Stick it in there and stay glued, please. Let me just do that all over then on the other side. Only two ways it can go in. Come on. Work with me. Plastic bands down here. Uh, not off the top of my head. Oh, this is interesting. Right in there, there's actually a little piece. That's plastic right there. That shows you what it's doing. Hence why I have to hold it. I'm literally holding the sides together until they decide to stick. Unfortunately, that's about as good as it's going to get. Which is still really good, I have to say.
You know what? I'll just be right back in a minute, and I'm going to grab an elastic band here quickly. Okay, so we are back. As you can see, I have actually gotten it together. Decently. So, this is the kind of time where you gotta. The model right now is telling me. <laughs> I know this is weird to say, but walk away and leave me for a while. That's literally what it is saying to me. So, I'm gonna move this completely off to one side. Because at this point, it's done. Like, it's technically finished. We're just putting on the few last touches to it. So instead, we will move on to the pipes that go around the head. Here. Let me grab something. Yeah, I logo. Come on. Not what I was wanting. Not what I was wanting. Sure. Come on, pop off. Pop off. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. So, just to give you a little bit of a size comparison, that is one thirty fifth scale. This is one one hundredth scale. Uh, yeah. So the part that we are going to be working on right now is this part right here. Right along here. And sorry, but I have to point this out. You can see how I painted there, painted, painted, did I paint anything inside? I don't think I did. I did. I painted the inside of this this little guy had the same one I did in there. <laughs> Funny. Believe me, this is actually pretty cool how this goes together. So we actually start out with a big long piece like this. This is the bottom. This is the top. So this will be sitting actually right in there like that but we have none of the beads around it this part is freaking tedious as all as I'll get out oh wait uh, does it go in like this Okay, so I'm pretty sure that actually goes in like... Yeah, that makes more sense. T 
tighter curve towards the bottom. Okay, tighter curve towards the bottom. Tighter curve towards the bottom. Yes, and that's what it's showing me there. So, it is literally taking two pieces. And the part with the teeth always goes on the top inserting it and then closing it up just like that now you have eight more <laughs> no nine more of them to do which equals to about 18 pieces aside or what 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 would that be uh, 18 uh, a lot of pieces so basically you're just going to be sitting here sitting there doing this we're good at two three minutes it doesn't it really doesn't take that long once you get the hang of it And did I mention it's about a times two? So every single one of these you have to do again for the other side. Which instead of me Pretty well torturing you guys. Ooh, I'm starting to feel the fumes. Remember, glue has fumes. <coughs> yeah, glue has the fumes. Glue closed. Triple check that in a second here. We're almost done. Got two more left. But you gotta remember that the top one, this top one, and this bottom one are special ones. So make sure you either A, clean them separately, or B, Just put them in a separate area. There we go. So that is what it will look like in a minute here. So there's one of them. Here's the second one. And really, we are just about done here. <laughs> so this. That's right in there. This one should also just fit right in. And then we close it up with this. Uh, 
Okay. So now we have these. This. So I'm actually going to flip it completely around. Why did. Oh, whoops. I got one of the sides backwards. Yeah, I totally did. Whoops. That's one thing that I prefer about non-glue kits. Is that you don't have to worry about if you make a whoops. It's just a really quick, simple kind of thing you just do. So this piece. Plugs into the back. I'm gonna gonna pull both of them forward. You see that that guy just wants to sit right in there. Trying to get the mono eye to move. Well done. So that's where I want the eye. Want the eye? I just want the eye to stay center. And all that there is left is three pieces. So this piece with the this flat part facing outward. Should just fit right over those two. And it does beautifully. This piece goes right down there. All that we have left is this piece, which has a, de a designation number of 24015. Uh, probably this way is what I would. Yes. Nope, other way. Okay. So with those two pegs facing outwards, actually. Oh, yes, that makes sense.
And now, just put this nose piece on. <laughs> there we go. There is Charge Special Zaku 2. Completely finished. And yes, we do have a V fin as well, or a commander horn. But this thing is massive. All right, that is one thirty fifth. Let me just reach all over here. Holy shoot. <laughs> this is a 135th. No, this is a yeah, 135th scale. Uh unicorn head. Uh <laughs> Uh Yeah, let me even put it on its base here. Again. Uh, so, uh, y yeah, uh, this has less stuff on it, and it is, like, nearly twice the size. And it is a heavy head, but it is, like, a hefty head. But this guy, it's hefty. Don't you dare fall to your Doom like that, buddy. Sorry, just my p my very first painted Zaku is deciding that it wants to jump off the table right now. So literally, we can complete one part of the diorama here. Happy facing that way, buddy. Here, I'll show you guys. See? Gundam 35th anniversary. RX 70 2 Gundam. Kind of in pieces right now. And Charles Zaku's head. So, if you are new here and you've liked what you've seen, hit that subscribe button. And if you aren't new here and you liked what you've seen, hit that like button. It lets me know to continue on doing stuff like this. Or what I have rating the wings, like an RX-78-2, 3.0, another Zaku. And, oh, what is that one? Just one more. This is the manual.
the justice. Sorry about that. Just need my table there. We have the justice Gundam. Which is a bloody gonna be a bloody awesome one. So I would like to thank everyone for watching this long video. This was the final bill. Like this was the final actual building part of the this whole kit. Like this came all in one kit, which was absolutely amazing. So that means that the next episode is going to be the final build. So, until next time, remember to rock on.